Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandigar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you here. As a 3D artist, we all experience unexpected events like electricity outrage, software crash, sometimes the render time is so much and it may damage your hardware, or maybe you need to relocate to somewhere else during rendering and you cannot charge your laptop, and things like that, so we need to re-render our project. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to resume your rendering image. No matter what happens to your rendering process, it would be continued later without any problem. Now let's dive in. In the first step, you need to know that you have to enable auto save so it would be saved as soon as the rendering process ends. You can do it in three ways. Under the common tab, enable the render output. You need to specify a location, type a name, and choose the save format. In the V-Ray tab, under Frame Buffer, enable V-Ray Raw Image File, specify a location, and give it a name. Notice that for resuming the render, you need to make sure that the file format is V-Ray Image File. Press save. And the third option is separate render channel. In this way, you can also separate the saved file in separate folders and stuff like that. You need to specify a location, name and press save, just like previous options. I recommend you use the second option, V-Ray Raw Image File. And here is the resumable rendering item that you need to enable. As you see, here is another item that is not available as long as I'm using the bucket mode. I'll explain what that is and why you need to use it a bit later in this video. Alright, I set up the render setting for a test render, so it shows the result faster. Set the primary engine on broad force and press render. As you know, the first calculation is the light cache, and then rendering image begins. Let it render some buckets and then I will show you what to do. Okay, as you see, it's rendering and like 3% of the process is now completed. If I open the directory folder, you will see that after starting the rendering image, a V-Ray image file is created there. It means now all the rendering data is collecting in this file. Okay, let's stop the rendering, like when the 3ds Max crashes, or rendering stops for any reason. I save and reset the scene. And now I open the project again. Once the project is open, I just start rendering using the render icon or pressing Shift and Q on keyboard. As you see, it's resuming the render, and the point is, it's not gonna calculate the light cache again. It just starts from the last bucket it was rendering last time. I think it saves lives, so every time for any reason you can simply stop rendering and resume it later. Here you see the file which is now more than 45 megabytes cause there are more data on the file now. The next one is the progressive mode. Here you see that item is now available. 
In bucket mode, the data will be saved bucket by bucket, but in progressive mode, it samples the entire scene at once, so basically there should be a time limit to make an auto save in order to collect the data for the next time you resume rendering image. If you leave that number on zero, it tries to save it in every moment, so basically it reduces the rendering speed. Set it on one or five. I start rendering. You see that it's calculating the light cache. As you know, progressive samples the entire scene. I need to wait like one minute to make the first save and then, if I stop it and resume it later, it won't calculate the light cache again. Here you see that it creates another file, but this time the format is V-Ray Progressive. If you are using the bucket mode, you have to avoid applying any changes to your scene in order to keep resumable rendering working. But if you are using progressive mode, you are allowed to apply some changes in your render settings to improve the render quality. Just notice that you need to set brute force as your primary engine. If you set it on irradiance map, it calculates the light cache every time you want to resume rendering image. And for those who use GPU rendering, I have to say that the resumable rendering only works in the bucket mode. So keep that in mind for your next project. And lastly, if you want to apply some changes and start another render, simply delete those image files. Next time you press render, it creates a new Vray image file for resuming that rendering image. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next videos. See you in the next video. Have fun!